So now we will discuss uh, about the testing this uh, scheduler. OK, so first. See, first we will check with seconds. And uh, I'm going to stop this. Truncate this table to avoid confusion. Job underscore EMP and uh, I'm removing this collection. Now, first step. I'm, I'm checking with 10 seconds. Time step of 10 seconds. So we have already tested this one. One more time. 54. So it will wait up to time step of 10 seconds. Meanwhile, we can prepare the queries. Yeah, wait here. See, 55 is there. Wait for five more seconds, I think. Yeah, we got the response from get procedure and move to MongoDB. And see, okay. And second, so we have tested this case. And uh, if you put 10 in second position of star, then what will happen? Not 10. So 55 means uh, better to put 56. 56 I am putting. And uh, insert two. And B two oh shit. Here we have to put star and here fifty seven. If I put fifty seven means irrespective of seconds or hours and remainings. Okay. So if the minutes is 57, then automatically this function will be called. Now function is not called. Fifty-seven is there. See, so at first time uh, we got the response like this, okay. And update for from the update procedure, we got the response status code two hundred and message like update success. For remaining things, and that means this function will be called until ending of this fifty-seventh minute. Okay. See. For every second, it will be calling. 50, 37, 38. Okay, so if you give some seconds like uh, 30 or 40, at, at particular timestamp only, this function will be called. Okay, so don't, uh, don't neglect to give value at this position. See, after, 57 and uh, 59 second, the function will not be called. Okay. 
So that is the meaning of this minute star. So next particular time in hour. So irrespective of hour here minute timestamp. So based on this minute timestamp, the function is called. Now if I give some hour like uh, 19 and here I am giving 58 not 58 59 we got the response 59 okay so this one is also calling that means 19, entire 19th hour, this function will be called. Okay. Next step. Here, for every day 19th hour, this function will be called. Here, if you put only minutes, and uh, remaining all all are star then for every minute respective minute only the function will be called okay next day of month so day of month so we can give the date so here this function will be called irrespective of the date Suppose if you want to give the date, you can give. Today is 18th. So here, give the uh, see this diagram. Day of month starts from 1 to 31. So today's date is 18. So you can give 18 uh, and uh, time minute is 01. And uh, here I am giving 20. So wait for 21. So this function will be called on this particular day and hours is 20, minutes is 01. See. Okay. If you give seconds, that means on the particular time seconds only, this function will be called. And next one. Uh, month so irrespective of month for each and every month this date on this date and on this hour on this minutes this function will be called but i don't want to call this every month so i want to call this function for a particular month that means that month starts from 1 to 12 so this uh, current month number is 10 so if you give 10 then only this function will be called. So time means uh, you can give two, not two. Two will become soon. I mean three. I am giving three minutes. Okay. So meanwhile, uh, four, five. See, you can observe this MongoDB status. For every test case, record is moving. Okay. You can also check here. So, what are the inputs? So, what is the meaning of this input means? On this, irrespective of year, for every October month and date is 18th, 20th hour, third minute this function will be called. Okay. See, function is calling. For remaining times, 
no response okay and next for every week day of week okay even though if you give this inputs but you if you want to give this day of week you can give that so day of week starts from 0 to 7 okay so 0 is for sunday monday 1 tuesday 2 so today is tuesday so i am supposed to give 2 2 so here minutes better to give 5 and uh, 5 e 5000 Another one here, six, six, okay, so it will take time. Meanwhile, uh, we can write uh, another insert queries. Seven G seven H H eight so five is there. Even though 5 comes, so the function is not called. Why? Because I have given the second pulse. So earlier, this function is called for entire minute. But when I am giving second pulse, so the function is called for only one time. Okay. So that is the meaning of this second. So function is called. After that, it is not calling. So you can check it to and go to the MongoDB. See this. Okay. And uh, next case, see. Mm. I put Six stars. Yeah. If I put five here divided by five, okay, we will check what will happen. See, eight six thirty thirty five. That means for every five seconds, this function is calling. Forty. Next one, forty five. 45, 50, okay, like that, you can call this function. And uh, here, how many records? Six, okay. So if I execute this one immediately, next five seconds, this function will be called and we will get the status code as 200. Immediately, this function will be called at multiple of five. Okay. So you can check here. See. Again, I am going to insert another record before that. See how I am inserting and you can check here. See 200 update success. Okay. So like that multiple of five seconds, the function will be called. So this is about uh, testing this scheduler in different cases by supplying different combination of times in form in terms of hours, minutes, okay, and giving a month a month number and a date and a week, okay, 